Hey beautiful people, I still remain your number one Nyingwa. So today I'm be making this easy peasy granuts. I'll be going in with the shaki first. So I'm adding the stock fish to the shaki. Adding some onions, some seasoning cubes, and then my grinded pepper. Yes, yeah, so this will give it the taste and allow it to simmer. Allow this to cook for about 15 minutes. Yes, on low heat. Allow this to cook on 15 minutes. After which, you can add your other um, beef you want to use, either beef or chicken, into this. <laughs> I'm blending my granite so I got the roasted granite that you just get anywhere your regular store after blending you put in the paste in the pot just as you can see add some red oil cover and allow to boil yes yes guys like this is some easy peasy granite soup very easy to make very affordable very light exactly i don't know why i'm using um a small spoon but anyways i think that's what the spirit leads at this moment so mm -hmm. so after which i go with some more onions because granite soup loves onions like if you want the taste to really come out you need to add enough onions and then i threw in some smoked fish exactly like when i tell you that you can use anything in this soup Definitely anything and then crayfish is going in last mm -hmm. you know why because I want the aroma of the crayfish to still linger on for so long yes you can also use vegetable but it's your preference exactly but I'm not using vegetable for mine I stir 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 I cover up and I'll allow everything to you know sangamanga together now as you can see now my soup is ready i already have my semo on my plate and i'm just going to dish this and enjoy every bit of it so this is just the easy step to making granite soup if you learned something from this video do not forget to share this video like drop a comment and i'll be seeing you in my next video until the next